All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our, our next uh, toolkit entry, and that's called uh, expected value. And uh, first of all, what, it, what is expected value? It's the average amount that you would lose or win if you play this game hundreds of times, thousands of times, an indefinite number of times to an infinite number here. You just kept playing and playing. And what's the average you would win or lose every time you played? Uh, it's a fair game if your expected value is zero. Okay. If it's not zero, it could be either negative or positive. It would be an unfair game, and it would it would uh, be biased towards either one person or the other here. And how do you do expected value? It's the sum of each outcome times its probability. And in our class in geometry, we really look at it from a circular model here. And so what we have here is we have a circle. There are three sectors. We have 40, which is 90 degrees of the circle. We have 60, which can happen if you land on that if you spun. That's 120 degrees of the circle. And finally, we have negative 84 can happen. And, well, wait, it doesn't say how many degrees. So how many degrees would that be? Well, 90 plus 120 is 210. What is 360 minus 210? Well, it's 150. So we have 150 degrees over here. So what we know is a little over half the circle is positive, and not quite half, but is, is negative here. So we're going to figure out what the expected value is. And, and really, here's how it works. It's, it's really pretty simple. One of our outcomes is 40. So I'm going to write that right here. And then we multiply by the chance of landing there. Well, the chance of landing there is 90 degrees out of the 360 degrees in a circle. So that's our chance of landing there. An outcome times its probability. And then what we do is we add on another outcome times its probability. Well, we can also get a 60. And the chance of that happening it would be 120 degrees out of 360. And then finally, we can also land on a negative 84. So I'm going to write negative 84 here instead of plus. And that would be 150 degrees out of 360. And you can go ahead and use your calculator right now. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and actually reduce these fractions here. Uh, so this would be 40. 90 out of 360 is a fourth of the circle. 120 over 360 actually ends up being 1 third. So 60, and that's 1 third. And finally, the negative 84, if I cross off my zeros, I get 15 out of 36. That ends up being 5 12. So if I want to simplify and reduce my fractions, go for it. If not, you don't have to. So now I'll grab the calculator. Well, what's a quarter of 40? Well, a quarter of 40 is 10. A third of 60 would be 20. And over here, a twelfth of this would be 7. And 7 times 5 is 35. So we'd have minus 35. 30 minus 35 is negative 5. So negative 5 is what we would call our expected value. So if you were to play this game, on average, you would lose 5 every time you played. So let's say you played this game 100 times. If you played it 100 times, and on average you lost 5, well, 100 times negative 5 would be negative 500. So on average, you would be 500 in the negative direction after 100 times. Now, would you be exactly that? Not necessarily, but that's what would average out over time here. Is this a fair game? No, this is not a fair game. Okay, so that's what you need to know about expected value in our geometry course.